All right, now we're gonna launch EC2 instances. Again, those are like the virtual machines. And then we're gonna show you how to tear it down or terminate those EC2 instances. Now, EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. And basically it's putting a virtual machine up into the cloud. You can do all kinds of different operating systems and different storage sizes for their hard drives and whatever you wanna do as far as different functions for these servers or systems. It's just like you're using your computer and using your virtual machine software like VMware, but you're just putting it into the cloud. All right, now that we've spun up a Linux EC2 instance, we're also gonna spin up a Windows EC2 instance because your lab environment is gonna have both operating systems. So just like with Linux, on the main screen here, we have launch a virtual machine with EC2, or we can also go to services and then compute and EC2. And we'll select launch instance and launch instance again. And we're gonna select Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base. So we'll select that. And again, that's free tier eligible. And just like before, we're gonna select the free tier eligible T2 micro, and we'll select next configure instance details. And just like before, we're gonna use all of the default options here. We're not gonna change anything. But again, if you had a different VPC that you were gonna put this into, you could select it here and select all your different options that you need. But again, we're just gonna hit next, add storage. And same thing here, we're gonna leave it as the default. So we'll hit next, add tags. We're not gonna add any tags here. We're gonna select next, configure security group. Now for Windows, we're gonna connect using RGP. If you remember back to Linux, we used SSH, and that's the difference in the operating systems and how you would connect. But with this particular one, it defaults to adding RDP, and we're going to allow the source to be anywhere. So that's gonna be any IP address. Now, normally that's not a good practice, and you'll want to be more granular and use my IP, but for this video, because we're gonna shut it down after, this is gonna be okay. And then as far as security groups, we're just gonna create a new security group here. So we'll hit review and launch. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and review the details for our EC2 instance and everything looks good, so we'll hit launch. And in this section, again, if you already had a key pair that you were gonna use, you could go ahead and select that. But for this, we're gonna create a brand new one. So we're gonna call this test user three and we're gonna download the key pair. All right, and we'll hit launch instance. All right, so that's being launched. So we're gonna view instances and we'll give this a few minutes here to go ahead and spin up. All right, now that our EC2 instance is running, we're gonna go ahead and select it. We're gonna hit connect and we're gonna hit RDP client. Now, what you need to do is you need to download this remote desktop file. So click download. And then I want you to bring in your remote desktop connection. So you can do this a couple different ways. If you're on a Windows computer, you can go to start, run, and type MSTSC, and that will open it up. Or if you're on a Mac computer, you need to download the remote desktop application from Microsoft from the store. So since I'm on a Windows computer, I already have it open here, and I'm going to hit show options. And under the connection settings, I'm going to hit open. And then I'm going to go to downloads because that's where it's at. And we're gonna select that file that we just downloaded. So we'll hit open, All right? And that's gonna automatically fill in our username. Now we need to get the password. So you'll see back here on the website, this get password. So we'll hit that and you need to browse to your key pair that we created earlier, or if you use an existing one. So we'll hit browse. Again, we'll go to the downloads folder and then we will hit testuser3.pem and hit open. All right, and now we need to decrypt the password. All right, and then there is our password. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy this by hitting the box here. And then we'll go back to our remote desktop connection and we'll hit connect. And we do wanna to connect to this, so we'll hit connect again. And we're gonna go ahead and put that password into here. And then hit okay. And we do trust this connection so we can accept the certificate. We'll hit yes. All right, and that's gonna open up our EC2 instance of Microsoft Server 2019. 
Now that it's running, if we go to the start menu here and we type winver and hit enter, we can see we're running server 2019. We have successfully launched an EC2 instance of the Windows operating system now in your Amazon AWS account. So we'll hit OK here and we'll go ahead and disconnect from this. And we'll cancel on that. And just like we did with the Linux operating system EC2 instance, we'll go ahead and select the Windows one and we'll hit instant state. And we're going to terminate this instance. And hit terminate. And again, just like with the Linux EC2 instance, once this is shut down and completely terminated, it'll be removed from your account and you'll no longer be charged any charges. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.